And welcome back to the program, everyone, for the final segment here of the Eat, Drink, Explore Radio Network's Market Fresh Hour. I am your host, Randall White. So glad you could uh, join us to learn about all things fresh and local here in the state of California. And as you know, from from the Oregon border to Nevada, all the way down to our border with Tijuana, uh, we have just an amazing number of farmers markets throughout this state. Whether you're talking about the uh, Ferry Plaza farmer farmers market in San Francisco, there, uh, the one in Aptos is fantastic along the Central Coast. You go down into San Luis Obispo, the Thursday night market everyone knows about, uh, and then. One city that has certainly put itself on the map when it comes to farmer's markets is Santa Monica. And that is the go-to place for so many chefs throughout Southern California who want to update their menus so that they are local, seasonal, sustainable, and that sort of thing. Uh, The farmer's markets there in Santa Monica do a lot of outreach projects as well. And uh, that's what we try to use this segment for, to connect you with other markets around the state who are doing some very interesting things. Uh, One thing that has proved successful for the Santa Monica markets run by the city of Santa Monica is in September. It's chili roasting month, and uh, we all love our chilies here in California. Jody Lowe joins us right now. She's with the city of Santa Monica, specifically the farmer's markets there, and uh, has some has some details on all this. Hey, Jody. Hey, Randall. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, well, exciting to have you on because I would have to say that the farmers markets in Santa Monica are among my favorite to visit in the state when I'm in uh, LA visiting my in-laws. I try to jet out to Santa Monica if I can uh, at the given times. Uh, where, where specifically? Because you run more than one market, right? Yes, that's correct. We run four weekly farmers markets. There's a couple on Saturday, both downtown Santa Monica and at Virginia Avenue Park. Our largest one Wednesdays, uh, downtown Santa Monica as well, and then Sunday on Main and Ocean Park. I've been to the Wednesday one, and uh, it's a lot of fun. Which market or markets, I'm not sure, do the uh, chili roasting? Well, historically, we've always done the chili roasting at our Pico Farmers Market, and it's, um, again, Saturday. Uh, we start at 9 o'clock with the chilies, and we roast until we're sold out, and um, it's, it's a really great event. We had another little event, um, which was exciting, at our Sunday market where we had kind of a chili face-off, but maybe we'll do that again <laughs> next year. But, the ch- yep, chili roast on Saturday at the Pico Farmers Market, Virginia Avenue Park, Pico, and Cloverfield. So, Jody, uh, chilies are everywhere at the market uh, right about now. And so this is one way for you to take what the people are buying at the market and bring it a step uh, further, because uh, they might want to roast them when they get home. But we all know, uh, while it's easy, you know, it's a little painstaking <laughs> to, uh, True. to do it. So uh, this is one of the ways that you can help people who are buying chilies at the market to, uh, to further whatever they're going to end up using them with. It's true. And the fantastic thing is, you know, the chili roaster, it's this big southwestern chili roaster, and you know, that's run by propane. It's got these big fire jets, and it's a really fun thing to watch. It's like a giant cage, right? It is. It's like a giant cage that's, you know, I think bigger than the size of a wine barrel. And it rotates around, and we put, you know, a couple pounds of chilies or a couple boxes of chilies, rather, into it at one time. Um, Different varieties. This week we're doing some Anaheim, some Poblanos, and some Jalapenos to give some variety, and then we sell them in one-pound bags. And folks, you know, come and they use them fresh or they'll freeze them, and you can have them all year long. They, they freeze up really well and thaw out, and you can, they're just beautiful. I like the idea of freezing them for the upcoming um, holidays. You know, you can serve them with your Thanksgiving dinner or at some of your parties that you have between Thanksgiving and New Year's. Uh, you can just pull these out of the freezer, and they're already done for you. Absolutely, and there's great recipes for them. I made this um, cheese and chili dip and put it in a bread bowl and baked it the other day. Oh, my goodness, it was fantastic. That sounds really simple. Was it, is it just literally those are the ingredients, and then you sort of uh, chop up the chilies, mix it in, melt the cheese, mix it in, and throw it in the oven? Add a little mayonnaise, a little garlic, chilies, some cheese, a couple different kinds of cheese, and, yep, make a bread bowl, throw it in, toast it on up, and you're good to go. Low-fat cooking, that's what I love. <laughs> 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 now that sounds really yeah. good, and you know, you know, your guests are going to love it. I mean, that's you absolutely know, right along the lines. Which types of chilies are we seeing the most of at the market right now? Anaheim, I heard you mention. 
And poblano? Mm-hmm. Poblanos are very popular. Those are one of the milder chilies. And then, of course, the hot jalapenos. Those are really good, too. Those are the three that we're focusing on this year. And um, we get them from a, a variety of our different farmers. I think this week we're getting them from Tutti Frutti Farms. Does the, I was going to ask about the vendors. Uh, Tutti Frutti comes in, and uh, do they mostly gr- where do these chilies grow? Do they grow in the Inland Empire or in the uh, San Joaquin Valley? Um, you know, Tutti Frutti, I believe, is in Ventura County. I, I have to double check that. But um, we have farmers that come all throughout California. Yeah. Um, I know another one of our, our growers, Alex Weiser and Weiser Family Farms, they grow some chilies and they're out in Tehachapi. And um, yeah, so kind of kind of all over California. I love it. What? Uh, who brings the big giant cage, the chili roasting cage? Is that something that you guys have on hand <laughs> there with the city or does it come from one of the vendors? You know, our boss, Laura Avery, some years back, took a trip to the Southwest and brought it back with her. So it actually is in our possession. It's our property, and, and we pull it out and tune it up and, you know, fire it off every September. So, yep, it's it's ours. <laughs> About how uh, chili roasting season, what do you say? It goes from early September through all of October? Well, sure. I mean, it, it depends. For us, we do the chili roast just for the month of September, but you'll find chilies starting in uh, late July, early August, depending on the region that they're coming from. Santa Maria, you'll get some early, but they'll also have some late, possibly into November. Depends on how they do the plantings and obviously the weather variations throughout the season. Um, so you could see them anywhere July to November, sometimes even December if it's a real mild winter. We're speaking with Jody Lowe with the city of Santa Monica and their farmers markets. You can find more information uh, through the city's web- website, which is sm for Santa Monica gov net, and then just go to the farmers market portal. And if uh, you go there right now, you'll see that September isn't just chili roasting month; it's also sustainability month. What are some of the sustainability food workshops that you uh, are offering? Yeah, those are really exciting. We're partnering with our Office of Sustainability. We're doing um, healthy, fast meals on a budget. We've got a couple different events. One, again, at the Pico Farmers Market this weekend, September 14th. Um, We're going to have three different demos and some shopping tips. And then on Saturday, September 21st, on the 3rd Street Promenade, we've partnered with the Chamber of Commerce and our Buy Local um, Expo, and we're going to be doing some additional three demos that day, too. It'll be lots of fun. I think that's fantastic that you offer all these add-ons, you know, things that you don't get when you go to one of the big box stores, right? <laughs> yes, <laughs> sure. absolutely. This is a better way to do it. Jody Lowe with the City of Santa Monica, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Randall. All right, everyone, that does it for this hour of the show. We certainly hope that you'll stick around right here on this station. I'm your host, Randall White. You can always get more information at Eat drinkexplore.com any of the information you heard today we have the links there if a recipe was mentioned we try to get the recipe on the site uh, and that sort of thing so we'll catch you back here uh, for our Sunday 9 to 10 o'clock hour don't forget about that I'm your host Randall White take care